guys welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to share with you what to do if you have a clogged milk duct so we are still up at the lake you can kind of see it back behind me um, so I am doing my videos in kind of random places wherever you can find that's quiet but over the last week, I have been dealing with a clogged milk duct, so I just wanted to share with you really quick um, how I treated it, the things I researched. I called lactation at my hospital and what they told me to do, um, and kind of the whole combination of things that has allowed it to go away and it didn't get infected or anything. So first of all, if you have a clogged milk duct and it gets infected, it's called mastitis, and you get like flu-like symptoms and you can get a fever. Um, and a little bit of like the milk that's clogged actually gets into your bloodstream so that's what causes um, all of the really icky symptoms and those who have had that who I've talked to about it said it's just horrible so as soon as I realized that I had a clogged milk duct I um, just started looking up like what can I do to get rid of it because if you just let it if you just let it be there you're gonna get it infected and that just sounds horrible so the first that I noticed it it I was like running across the street really quick and um, you know it bounced a little bit I was wearing a swimsuit um, and I realized I had some pain there so I kind of poked around and I felt like a big lump and so um, after taking a birth class with, with Garrett before our daughter was born um, I remember talking about that so I knew that that's probably what it was but I researched a little bit and it was kind of warm to the touch it um, was a little bit painful and it hurt a little bit to nurse on that side <clears throat> so just kind of all those things together I knew that's what the problem was so I called lactation at the hospital and they gave me a few tips and I looked online and kind of just saw um, a few tips from other people so the first thing that I did that seemed to help was I put just a really hot washcloth on my breast um, right over the lump and I did that every time before I would feed her because that kind of loosens the duct kind of um, you know like hot things expand warm or cool things contract so it just sort of expanded the duct to try to um, create room for that blockage to pass or for the milk to get moving in there and so I would do that each time before I'd feed her and also while I was feeding her as well as like before and after I would kind of massage down my breast towards the nipple um, and just I would do that really gently because it did hurt a little bit there was some pain um, but that was just quite enough to encourage the blockage to keep moving, get the milk flow going. And those things, while they seem to maybe be helping over that first day, that was all I did the first day, um, I still woke up with the same problem. Thought I would try some other things. So I took a warm shower, actually a really hot shower, um, and I kind of just stood with that breast in the stream of water um, for as long as I could stand just to really like heat up the area and then I got out and fed her immediately. Another thing I did was after feeding her I would kind of sometimes put a hot washcloth back on the sore area and then I would pump like at full volume. Why is there always something when I sit down? It was last time these neighbors had a tractor going as soon as I started filming a video and this time they're blowing air horns. Anyway, that's just how it goes when I'm not at home and I have to find random spots to film. But, oh yeah, so I would also pump right after um, like feeding her and after doing a hot washcloth treatment or after a hot shower. Um, and I, would, I usually pump at like half speed or half whatever it is, uh, half power, um, because it doesn't feel that great to pump. Um, I don't know if any of you have pumped, but it doesn't feel that great to me. Um, especially if you turn it up very far. But I had it up full blast, just trying to like really create a stronger suction because her alone didn't seem to be doing the trick. And then one thing my hospital told me to try was massaging my breasts with a like unscented lotion of some kind, because that would just help you, um, instead of like your hand catching on your skin, kind of it just helps create like a smoother massage I guess if that makes sense but I used coconut oil I like to use coconut oil for all kinds of things I treated Emily's cradle cap with coconut oil and I've done lots of other things with coconut oil um, so that's the first thing I tried and that seemed to help the massage my hospital also recommended after doing the 
hot washcloths or hot showers and massages and creating that suction, whether it be her eating or her eating or me pumping. After I do any of those treatments to put an ice pack on it um, to reduce the swelling because with a clogged milk duct you also have swelling and some pain and it feels hot and so it's good to keep that swelling down. Um, but then the next time you go to feed, like nurse on that side first, they also emphasize that. Nurse on that side first and use your hot washcloth, use, do that massage, pump afterwards, do all those things, but then ice it afterwards. And a combination of all of those things over like three days, I think, um, and I woke up feeling fine the next day, which is such a huge blessing because we are out of town, we are only going to be home for a couple days, and we're going to be out of town again, so I really didn't have time to get an infection and have to go get antibiotics or whatever, so yeah, I'm very, very grateful that all of those things worked and that I caught it in time. So I just wanted to make a video to share all those tips with you guys. So if anybody else has that problem, you can stay on top of it and not let it turn into an infection. The last thing I wanted to share with you um, in my research, I read a few things that can possibly cause a clogged milk duct. Sometimes it's just going to happen on its own and you can deal with it as it comes. But a few things that I read that can cause it that maybe you can avoid or you know, be mindful of so you can prevent getting clogged milk ducts. Things that can cause it would be like wearing a tight shirt if you are restricting kind of the natural flow of like your letdown or anything like that. Um, if you like lay on your stomach or are, I've heard, you know, someone who gets like a back massage or something and laying on their stomach for an hour, that, that pressure on those milk ducts can create a blockage. Um, the same thing can happen if you get like hit in the chest or some other like trauma like that. When they taught me to breastfeed at the hospital when Emily was born, they showed me to like hold my breast towards her mouth like like a sandwich, like kind of squish it down that way and like give it to her that way so it was a little easier for her mouth to grab. And so I would, I still sometimes, actually most of the time, at least start feeding her that way because I think it helps her latch on. Um, but if I read if you're like squeezing too hard and you squeeze the whole time, like you're restricting flow in the areas where you're putting pressure. So that can also cause issues there. I think that is pretty much it, you guys. Probably not a super long video, but it was something that I think came in super useful that I just wanted to share with you guys in case anybody else has experienced or will experience the same thing. Um, so you know kind of how to handle it because... I don't know about you, but like the flu and fever, all of those things are not fun. So if you can stay on top of it and prevent those, um, that would be highly recommended. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I am enjoying making these videos for you. So give it a thumbs up if you like it and leave some comments down below, any questions or anything like that. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.